the light shines in the darkness. Our mission is to make a difference in the communities we serve, whether it is helping our schools, local churches, charities, or providing you with an unparalleled experience. When you walk through our doors, you will be treated like family and find our process extremely quick, easy, and transparent. We are out to prove that Daystar isn't a typical dealership, but a true testament to our name. Driven by faith. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another Believe Land Prep interview. I'm your host, Kevin Sledz. With me is my co-host, Joe Yule. How you doing, Joe? I'm good, Kev. I'm good. I'm excited. We got a special guest here. Big game from this young man. Yes, we do. Our special guest tonight is running back Josh Schultes of the Cardinal Huskies. And he's our Week 8 Daystar Forward Player of the Week after his great performance against Crestwood. Uh, rushing for 233 yards on only 12 carries and three touchdowns. So congrats, Josh. Nice performance. Thank you. Yeah, so, I mean, anybody who's watched Cardinal football this year, you know, kind of, like, you know, knows about you. They, I mean, I'm sure you're not blind to it and everything, but, all you know, the records that you're close to, you know, breaking and, you know, mm -hmm. records set by your uncle. Um, you know, yeah. it's, it's got to be a cool family thing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, what – what's it like, you know, growing up in Cardinal with like, you know, I mean, I, I swear every, you know, direction you look, there's a soltis that you could point out somewhere. <laughs> um, you know, I, um, so, you know, what's it like growing up with ha having that background with what your family's done in the past? Um, like, like at school and stuff, like all my, like, I mean, like I'm related to everyone. I get everything along and, uh, like, I talked to my, like, uncle and stuff about football, and, like, <clears throat> we, like, um, yeah, I don't know, uh, it's definitely puts, like, a lot of pressure on me, like, I have to have, like, I try and be a good kid and stuff, like, I mean, if I say I do something bad, I mean, everything looks at me like, oh, man, the, the Soltis is, they're, they're not good or whatever. They're troublemakers or whatever. So I try and be respectful and do everything good. And, yeah. So you have a couple of family members on the team with you, so Charlie and Max? Yeah, I, and Reese. I got okay. two cousins and my brother. So what's it, like, what's it like being able to play with them on the same team? Um, I mean, I love having my cousin block for me. I mean, he's a big kid. Um, my brother, I mean, yeah, we get along well and stuff. But, like, we had, don't really play. I mean, he plays JV. So, okay. but, I mean, like, last year I played with I played with my older brother. And, I mean, that was fun. And, like, two years ago I got to play with my old, like, my oldest brother. And he was QB, so he was handing me off the ball. I mean, <laughs> And we just had a good, good like, I guess, bond or whatever because we've been playing football for years, like, in the backyard. And, like, yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, growing up in Cardinal, like, you guys, you know, it's it seems like for the most part you guys have always been, you know, kind of a ground and pound, always always produced really, really uh -huh. good running backs. Um. You know, is there is there kind of anybody that like growing up watching that you you know looked up to? I mean, you know, like two guys when I think about like that I got to play against. You know, uh, you know, like Trey Shirky. Um, you know, I had a very successful career, and like a guy like Kyle Sims, how you know athletic he was. Um, mm -hmm. you know, is there anybody that you kind of looked up to in Cardinal when you were growing up? Um, oh, actually, you brought up Trey Shirky. I I always looked up to Trey Shirky. I mean, like I was youth camps and stuff. He was always always be like coaching me and stuff during them. Like I always, I always looked up to him and like we 
had like family parties or whatever and he was there and like we just got together and like got like uh had like a good connection i just always looked up to him he was real big and i always thought that was really really cool <laughs> yeah he was a big dude <laughs> he was especially a <laughs> senior year that kid was massive <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So did you play any other sports at Cardinal or do you just stick to football? I play baseball and basketball. Okay. Sure. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you know, like, you know, going to Cardinal, it's a, it's a very community built school. You know, everybody, you know, like the whole, whole town comes out on Friday nights and everything, uh, you know, and, and, and you kind of elaborated a little bit, you know, on a, on a pressure standpoint from how successful, um, you know, your uncle and, you know, really your whole family was at Cardinal schools in general, whether, it, you know, whether it is girls or guys, um, you know, what, what goals set coming into this 2022 season with that, you know, that career numbers, um, you know, what, what goals did you set for yourself? Was it to break the records or just, you know, were they more team-based? Um, mostly team-based, like getting to the playoffs, getting, further than one uh the first round um but um, like for my like personal goal I only really looked at like the rushing yards in a season it's really like the only one I looked at and I last year I just I basically my whole high school career I wanted to get over a thousand yards and like I never like knew I could get over a thousand in eight games so like now that I've got over a thousand like I just I like really want to get that rushing yard record. I, I set that for myself in the beginning of the year. So, what do you consider your greatest strengths as a player? Um, I feel that I am, I am a good like leader, and like just during practice and stuff. Um, I feel that as a running back, I just my eyesight is just really good. I see holes real well and stuff. I mean, I'm decently fast and de pretty strong, but, like, mostly eyesight, I feel like, is my, like, greatest, greatest strength as a player. Okay. For anybody, for anybody listening or watching on YouTube, the kid has phenomenal vision, and he's, he's selling himself short on speed. I went and watched the <laughs> game last week against Crestwood, and it – your speed was nothing shy of it. I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're busting out the hole and everything. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting there next to my dad watching the game and I'm like, yep, here's another touchdown. And, you know, I mean, you, you know, you, you, have, you have pretty good speed and everything, but uh, you know, when you, uh, you know, obviously you're a three sport athlete at, at Cardinal and, you know, pretty good at all of them. Um, you know, what, what what do you what do you enjoy to do on your free time? You know, kind of get away and have a little escape. Um, I love hunting and fishing. That's really all I do, like for like hobbies wise. And like I help my dad on the farm. We live on a farm, so I really just help him go hunting and fishing. What do you hunt? But, huh? What do you hunt? Uh, deer, turkey, um, sometimes birds and stuff like. Dubs, geese, but mostly just deer and turkey. Very cool. So what do you like most about playing uh, football at the high school level? Um, oh, I, mm, that's a good question. <laughs> um, a couple things then. So you don't have to settle, settle it down to just one. What are like your top three? Um, I feel like there it's just like faster pace like I like the fast pace and moving quick I mean when I was like in middle school it was just felt real slow and it just I don't know how I felt about it so like just quick moving I mean I feel like that high school you bond more I guess mm -hmm. than like younger and stuff so with, with the with the record you know in mind being 200 yards away from it right now I, I don't want to talk about it too much because it's but it's hard not to because it's very impressive um but you know you know with it in mind um obviously 
you know, two, two very tough opponents this upcoming week. I mean, it's almost a little ironic in a way that you're, you know, some probably two out of the three toughest games of the year for you guys, maybe, Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got, you're trying to break the record in in the two last games as well. I mean, I have no doubt that you'll get it, but um, you know, you know, what, what's it like trying to, you know, go game plan for, you know, Cuyahoga Heights being a very talented team and, you know, then you guys get to close out your season with your rival Berkshire. Um, I feel like going into the game, I mean, yeah, they're pretty big. I mean, they're not like their front line, defensive line, they're big. I mean, their linebackers fill the holes, but like, I feel like that we just need to uh, be quicker than them and like that we'll be able to run on them. Um, I, I mean, I'm just going to try to do what I usually do. I mean, if there's a hole, I'm bouncing outside or whatever, just running. Well, you keep doing what you've been doing, and you, you'll definitely get that record. Uh, we uh, we really appreciate you coming on and taking a few minutes with us, and uh, mm-hmm. we wish we wish you and the Huskies the best of luck your final two games and hopefully on into the postseason. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank no you problem. for having me. Anytime. Have a good night. You too.